I think finally, after all the interviews I've done today, I've finally found the Indian I've been looking for, Ricardo Montalban. And it's nice to meet you. My great pleasure, Ida. And you are an Indian in Cheyenne Autumn, right? Yes, I play a historical character called Little Wolf, who was the war chief of the Cheyenne Nation. Mm -hmm. A very interesting role and one that uh, I have great uh, respect for because the dream of my life was to work for Mr. John Ford, who I consider the true genius of uh, cinematography. And, uh, and this role offered such a great challenge to me because I am a man who uh, I do things very extemporaneously and I uh, move my hands when I talk and uh, I talk too much. Uh, that did he sort of uh, tone you down a little bit? Very much so, yes. And I had to, uh, through Mr. Ford, uh, he helped me feel everything inside, the turmoil that this man has to have but all internal, which was very interesting to do, yes. What did you do about your little accent that you still have? Well, uh, spoke very deliberately, you know, and uh, if I work on lines, I'm able to soften my accent. Uh, did you use any Indian uh, dialogue in the picture? Yes, oh yes, quite a bit, yes. We had a, 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 an Indian there uh, as an instructor uh, teaching us the different uh, words that we had to say, things, orders, you know, like uh, forward or uh, go to the left or go faster, this, this type of phrases that we had to use throughout the picture, yes, indeed. Well, what about, uh, what about the audience? Will they be able to understand what he's... Uh, oh, yes. You see, with, with Mr. Ford, actually, he knows that, um, that a picture is worth a thousand uh, words. And you will find that in most of the John Ford pictures, especially in this one, even if you took the dial dialogue away, you would be able to tell what's going on because he really can tell more with the camera, I think, than any other director alive. Well, I want to say one thing before we close. You uh, look younger than, than I could ever imagine. How long have you been in pictures? Well, I've been in pictures since 1941. I and started in Mexico in 41, so it's been a long time, Ida. Honestly, yes. the camera doesn't do you justice because you look about 35. Now, maybe you are 35. Maybe I'm talking out of turn. Well, it's either that. I am 43, Ida. Are you? Yes, really? and um, I must say that you have very young and youthful eyes, and that through your eyes, I probably look younger than I no, really I am. <laughs> going for health foods or anything no, like that? No, no, I go for eating very well. I love to eat, I eat very much, but I am a nervous man and I, evidently I burn a great deal of energy in everything I do. Well, yes. that's good, and, it's, and it does well for you. Thank you, Ida. Thanks so much for letting me chat with you. My great pleasure. It's been a real pleasure to meet Mr. Carl Malden. Sometimes he's not so easy to recognize because he's played so many different parts. Actually, Carl, what is your preference in uh, character parts? I don't have any preference. I, I enjoy doing all character parts, any sort of part, as long as the material is wonderful and gives me something to bite into. Mm -hmm. I enjoy, you know, you gave me a wonderful compliment. You said that I'm hard to recognize. I didn't see how I could... Uh, I, I like that as an actor because I should be hard to recognize. But with this nose of mine, how can no, I be hard honestly, to recognize? No, honestly, you, you are <laughs> super sensitive about that. I am. <laughs> because huh? really, it's not, a, it's not that at all. But uh, what I was referring to is the fact that <laughs> you lose yourself so much in the parts you play, such as in... Uh, I, haven't I better. Seen, uh, I haven't seen Shy and Autumn. Have you seen it? Uh, I haven't you know, seen it. We'll seen see it? it together. You haven't seen it at all? I haven't how seen it How long does it run, Carl? I think it's about two hours and ten minutes. Now, this is in Technicolor, right? It's in color, 70 millimeter, widescreen, all the works. You uh, have played with Carol Baker before, haven't you? Yes, I have. Uh, I played with Carol Baker as her husband, and uh, I thought it was a wonderful picture called Baby Doll. What is your relationship in this picture? Actually, I have no relationship with Carol Baker, uh, except that I fight her again, mm -hmm. in that she's on the side of the Indians, and uh, I am not. Oh, you are... You're an Indian hunter, huh? Indian hunter, that's right. Well, you came to a great or place. Or Indian to chaser, because I chase them out of the out of the fort. Oh, you do. That's right. And is this supposed to be the fort uh, that you're at, Fort Laramie? It could be. I think it's actually, though, it's in Colorado. The fort is in Colorado. The one. Well, this seems to be a, a very good story that they could take a picture from. Just how authentic do you think it is? Well, I think it's a true story, and with John Ford doing it, you know it's an honest story. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the first time, the Indians will be shown in their true light. And uh, let us say the Americans or the whites don't come off so well. Well, you are talking to a great many Indians in Oklahoma. Yes. And I would say at least 65% uh, of all the Oklahomans have some Indian blood in them. Well, I think, I think that, uh, well, I'm, I'm pleased that they're proud of me, not because of the story, but uh, because of the, uh, well, that I'm a human being like they are, you too. You surely are. One of the most vibrant personalities I've met in a long time, Mr. Carl Malden.
first time I've been in Cheyenne, and it's the first time I've met Mike Mazurki, so I'd like for you to meet him. Mike, it's a pleasure meeting you, and I can recall many pictures that you've been in, and regardless if you were a pseudo-tough guy, you still got the hearts of the audience. Uh, how about in this new picture, Cheyenne Autumn? Well, I don't know, I, I'm happy to say that I play a sympathetic character for a change. I play so many villains in my life that people think that I'm actually this way. However, I'm not complaining. It's been a wonderful life and uh, uh, a lot of work. But uh, I like to uh, play a different role sometimes, if given the opportunity, and I think this is one for John Ford. Someone told me a little while ago that it was uh, sort of unique the way you got to tell it, in, excuse me, <laughs> into motion pictures. Uh, how did this come about? Well, I, uh, I was wrestling in Los Angeles, and Von Sternberg, who discovered Marlene Dietrich, was casting for a picture called Shanghai Gesture. And he was looking for a big, tough guy, big wrestler who could speak Russian. And it just so happens that I speak Russian. And uh, he approached me and asked me if I wanted to take a screen test, and I fit the role. And mm -hmm. ever since then, I've been doing pictures. But I always went back to wrestling, too, for the last 15 years. How long have you been in pictures, Mike? About 20 years. 20 years. Yes. Doesn't seem possible, does it? No, it doesn't. It seems like it's really flying by. Yes. Are you, uh, what is your nationality? I'm Mike? Ukrainian. Ukrainian descent. I was born in Europe under Austrian rule, and we migrated here when I was about seven years old. I was educated in uh, upstate New York, outside of Albany. Went to school in Manhattan College, broke into wrestling, played professional football, basketball, and eventually... Just, all ar just an all-around sport, right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yes. You've been cast as Italians and Indians and just about everything. A lot of Indians, yes. A lot of these Indians here. I, I was talking to, I said, I play more Indian characters than you, uh, you <laughs> fellas have. Okay. Uh, but a lot of people think that I, uh, I am an, an Indian, which I'm well, not. Now we know. Mike Mazurki. Uh, right. About two years has gone by since I last talked to this young man, Pat Wayne. Pat, it's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you again, too, Ida. Listen, you just get better looking every year. Oh, uh, you're just what are you doing? Are you taking vitamins or something? No, I'm just growing. I'm just a growing boy, that's <laughs> all. <laughs> you sure? How old are you now, Pat? 25, Ida. Well, I, I knew that it was in the early, tw I thought it was early 20s, but you really are maturing, aren't you? Well. In pictures as well. Hopefully. Uh, what part do you play in this uh, shy and all? I play a cavalry lieutenant, just freshly graduated from West Point. It comes out west to fight the Indians. Mm -hmm. You have a yellow scarf? I have a, no, I have a multicolored scarf. Oh, I see. I thought they wore yellow scarves. Well, it was uh, more or less up to the choice of them. There's all different colored scarves through the whole cavalry. Mm -hmm. I heard you a few minutes ago sort of humming. Uh, are you interested in singing at all? <laughs> well... Honestly, I now, I mean, you know... Well, I cut a record uh, for Dot Label about five years ago, um, a, a song that I'd sung on a TV show, a uh, Howard Duff I Lupino TV show. But we didn't have a lot of success with it, and I didn't really pursue it because I was... I guess it's been longer than that. It was before I started college, so... I started college in 57. And I haven't... I, and then I started... I was really interested in college, so I started booking it, and I didn't pursue that end of the, my career. You still aren't married, are you? No. I didn't think you were. Are there any uh, future plans along that line? Nothing said definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I very seldom ask that, but since I'm your fairy godmother, you I have to me. watch out for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, in uh, this particular show, Shy and Autumn, uh, about how long would you say that it runs? I think the picture is going to run about two and a half hours, the way it's cut now. Mm -hmm. A lot of Technicolor and uh, action in it? Yes, it's a wide 70-millimeter uh, film, I guess. It's the type that could be convert it to Cinerama. It's like a Tadeo process, I believe. How's your dad feeling? I noticed in, uh, in an article the other day he'd been quite ill. Oh, he's coming along fine, thank you. Is yeah. he still in the hospital? Yeah, he's in, I think he'll be getting out in a couple of days, though. Good. So. Does he have anything coming up in the near future? Yes, he's going to start a picture for Hal Wallace over at Paramount in about a month or so, I believe. It's called The Sons of Kitty Elder. Oh. Henry Hathaway will be directing it. Are you going to be in uh, that particular picture with No, him? I'm not going to be in it. There's uh, just... No, no part in it for me. Have you ever played in, you have played in a picture with him, haven't you? In, with my father? Yes. Oh, in several pictures. Thanks a lot, Pat, and I've enjoyed being up here in Wyoming with all of you, and I hope that uh, you have a lot of success with this picture. Well, I hope it isn't two years before I run into you again. Right. Okay. <laughs>